Championship, beating Lunenburg three to two. Welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm your host, Tom Albert, joined with Chris Collins. And today we have uh, upcoming is the uh, senior presentation, as it is, it, at is, as it is the uh, Frontier um, Senior Night against Turner's Falls. Thunder have six seniors on their roster. Frontiers players will now present each of Turner's seniors with a flower. Congratulations to Jay Tyler, Taylor Murphy, Olivia Whittier, Frontier Softball has five players representing the class of 2021. Today we'll take this opportunity to say thank you to each and every one of them. It means a lot to me and the rest of the team. They took so much pleasure in making the times and decorations and planning today. So, class of 21, I've known you for many years as a coach, as a teacher, and I'm honored to be a varsity coach this year as you reach the end of your high school career. Each one of you has taught me something very valuable about the game and about life. Each one of you has created a lasting impression on me as both a player and as a person. Charlotte, I still remember your at-bats in rec league when the whole park got excited for something big and even had fielders got nervous and had glasses becoming their rep. Amanda, your senior year got short by a broken finger, but you excelled in your role without complaint and clearly loved the game of softball. Savannah, you've shown us that you've got grit and determination and really are making the most of senior year. Macy, your love and respect for the game is infectious and you make everyone around you better. Daddy, get me! And I've been my daughter Olivia's softball coach for nine years straight. And I've loved watching you play every year. Yeah. And amazing what you've accomplished. Every one of you has mattered. Each one of you has been important, and I've said team culture is not what you are, but what you do, and the way you do it. And so we thank you. And now we'll call each of our seniors up to home plate with their families. Savannah Upton is accompanied by her mom, Jen, and father, Greg. You know, I followed your team. Yeah. I did, and I watched you bat several times. I know there were only like 14 of them, yeah. but I saw a couple good ones. Yeah, there's a few. And they used you in important situations. Yeah, and if you were unlucky for a while, and then you got a, a nice hit, and then you got a, a play for glory. You 
play the two of them, the two good teams. The other, what's your name? The it good wasn't one. the other, because oh, it wasn't a good one. This is a specific weekend. Okay. We played Nazareth, because they're okay, in the okay. same town. Yeah. And we stayed over and ate in the hotel. And then another weekend. Captain Charlotte Gillette is accompanied uh, by her mom, Deb, yeah. yeah. Bobby Glenn, and her sister, Lucia. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have to grab one and stuff? No! Oh, it was so yeah, 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 The yeah, whole yeah, season yeah, must have been yeah, miserable. Yeah, so limiting you so much. be a, a rough life, you know, a, a restricted life. So it, wasn't, it wasn't wild campus life, teen Captain campus Lucy life. Captain Lucy Ring is accompanied by so her mom, Carrie. Like What's the face? I love this <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Is she like as good as the pictures you've ever taken? And Peyton and Andrew. She's got, she's got a lot of strikeouts, but she, Alfred went pretty far. Yeah, they they didn't know. win the region. Yeah. They didn't win, but they did well. Captain Olivia Dean is accompanied by her mom, Shana, sister Caroline, and her old man. Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by Attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals. Right next to the Common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrell Insurance. Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. So the conference at uh, home plate as the lineup cards are exchanged here on Senior Day in South Deerfield. And here's the starting lineup for the Turner's Falls Thunder. Unbeaten on the season and uh, could very well be in the hunt for a state title again this year. Leading off, Olivia Whittier plays first base. Batting second, Taylor Murphy, the second base person. Jade Tyler, pitching, bats third. Julia and Juliana Road is the cleanup hitter batting third, batting fourth rather, playing third. Maddie Lee Matane in the catcher bats fifth. Taryn Thayer, the pinch hitter, is sixth. Holly Myers, the right fielder, bats seventh. Emily Young, center fielder, bats eighth. And Hannah Marhefka, shortstop, bats ninth. Also in the field, Livia St. Afford uh, playing left, and I don't believe she'll be hitting today. So that's the starting lineup for the Turner's Falls Thunder. For the Red Hawks, pretty much the same lineup they had the other day against Greenfield. CeCe Green leads off catching. Macy Ring plays it short. She bats second. Lucia Dulet, left field, bats third. Charlotte Dulet, third base, bats fourth. Olivia Dean once again in the circle for Frontier, bats fifth. Lenny Fifield in center field, bats sixth. Ashley Taylor in right, bats seventh. Jillian Appenell, the first base person, bats eighth. And Savannah Upton plays second, batting ninth. And the pitching matchup, of course, is going to be Olivia Dean against Jade Tyler, one of the elite pitchers and hitters in Western Mass. And I'm kind of surprised, Tom. Uh, I, I did not expect to see Olivia Dean in the circle again. Today. This is her third straight start. And against Greenfield, she looked a little bit tired early on, but actually seemed to strengthen as the game went on. Yeah, and I will have to say that that is definitely an interesting move because Frontier, I wonder how that deep it, their pitching goes. I know they have Jillian Ampinell, Savannah, but 
you know, what can you do when you have um, – who, who, when you have – Three good teams, right? You have, um, and they would have had to play five games in four days, like we were saying. If they didn't get that uh, that game on Tuesday, it was going to be re- rescheduled. Right. Um, and you know that Greenfield game we wa- we commentated the other night. Um, it's up on FCAT. Uh, that fifth inning, you go back to that fifth inning. The Frontier scored five runs or seven seven runs, excuse me, and they Run, took yep. they took the lead. So y- in uh, I talked with Mr. Dean before the game, and he said that they actually had nine errors, and they weren't mental errors. They were throwing; it was the throwing the ball around. Yep. And like we said earlier against Greenfield, they had that three or that three run home run that was a uh, whatever a strikeout breaker. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens today, as you have an unbeaten team, the Turners Falls versus Frontier, who is uh, six and four. Well, they're going to have to definitely play better in terms of defense than they did against Greenfield if they want to have a prayer of beating this team. This team is always uh, perennially in the conversation for state championship, Western Mass championship. Gary Mullins has a great program over there, and nothing against Greenfield. They have a good program too, but I think Frontier, that game was winnable the other day. It it was. This one is going to have to take a near-perfect effort to beat this team. And in, in, in one thing I will say, no throwing the ball around if you're Frontier. You, you, you cannot throw the ball around. You cannot give Turners, like they gave Greenfield the other night, some extra lives. You know, you could have you could have got some extra outs, and they gave them more lives. You know, and that's some, just sometimes how it goes. And you look you look around at this uh, Frontier team, and they're, they have a very young team. They have a couple of seniors, yes, but they're, they're very young. So... And they're skilled. I think they're they're a better defensive team than they showed the other night against Greenfield. And, and today, uh, this is going to be a, a a a good test. It could be a, a a tough test. And certainly, going into the playoffs, you uh, you want these kinds of challenges. And uh, the the last time these two teams played, I don't think it was real close. Yeah. So. And and like we said off air, you know, if uh, Turner's pitching is on point. And Frontier, you know, they don't play well. Then this this isn't this is going to be over quick. Yeah, it could very well be a, a ten run mercy rule game. Well, we'll see what happens. That's why they play them on the field. Yep. yep. So stepping into the batter's box is Olivia Whittier against Olivia, Olivia Dean. Dean. Two Olivias. Of course, uh, this is senior day, so Frontier. A little extra motivation playing in front of their home crowd. And final game, regular season home game for the graduating seniors of the class of 2021. Yeah, definitely definitely a big crowd tonight. Um, and I was I was expecting that, you know. Show the seniors some support. So as uh, Olivia Dean takes, takes a mound. And Olivia on the plate waiting for Dean. Just inside for a strike. 0-1. So two quick strikes on Olivia Whittier, the first base person for the Turner's Falls Thunder. Ooh. Just outside, one ball, two strikes. Maybe uh, she tried to get her to chase that one. I think so. That was what that looked like. We'll just, you know, we'll have to see if Olivia can keep that, you know. Because she's, she's pitching on, uh, yeah, she dump ball was a little way. In the dirt. She's pitching on one day's rest and also, you know, 13 innings yep. in in three days and she'll probably go six or seven here depending on how long this game goes line drive center oh. field off the wall they're gonna field did play off the wall to hold her to a single nice wow. job wow five field that was that was really great and outstanding play for delaney five field to get it in quick and she's an eighth grader for frontier so right off the wall one base runner one hit for turner's falls the batter will be taylor murphy the second base person Whittier will lead off first. Strong.
Strike on the outside corner, 0-1. Ground ball to first. Look at and the out. Appenel makes the play at first on the fielder's choice. So Whittier moves up to second. So one gone, and the batter will be Jade Tyler. She's uh, she's on the mound. So as I like to say, mano y mano. If I'm correct. Jade is a uh, one of the elite players in Western Mass. Great athlete. So mono. And softball is her game. Ball low. That was definitely a good eye. <laughs> well, I think uh, Olivia is going to do her best to keep. I mean, Tyler has had a few home runs this year. She's definitely got some power. Yeah. In fact, it was a Tyler Grand Slam that got Turner's <sighs> past Greenfield last time up. Oh, yeah. I remember listening to that at the end of the game um, on the radio, actually, on Bear Country. Um, just, you know, I was I was a little, you know, come on, you know. 2-0 <laughs> to Tyler. to Tyler. Tyler fouls that one back, so it's two balls, one strike again. Whittier at first base, and Juliana Rode is the on-deck hitter, the third baseman. Yeah, and, returners. and you can definitely tell Olivia Dean is being very cautious pitching to Tyler. You know, that's where you got to be. That's uh. Well, if there's ducks on the pond, Tyler Taylor or T J, T J Tyler will bring him in more often than not. Yeah. 2-1 pitch. Just inside, three and one. Ooh. Just missed on the inside corner. Two, uh, two coaches. And Tyler will walk. So it's almost a smart play there by Olivia not pitching. But, you know, now you got Madison Road. Or no, sorry, Julia, Julia Road. Road. Yep. <laughs> Saw the two roads. <laughs> Um, and the Maddie Lee and the catcher is on deck. I'm going to have a courtesy runner for Tyler. And it's going to be Paige Shulda who will write a run for Tyler. <laughs> so Shulda at first. And Whittier at second. First pitch to road is inside for a ball. 1-0. So Turner's threatening here in the top of the first. In the Low dirt. in the dirt, 2-0. So maybe maybe one thing um, like we've gone back to is that uh, maybe Olivia's a little fatigued. You know, and sometimes first or second inning when you're a pitcher is usually a rough. Yeah. You have a rough first, too. And then once you get, as the game progresses, and it's fly ball. Pop up to second. No one's going to make gonna the fall in. They can make a play at second. Almost. And everybody's safe. What happened was they I believe that the second base person for Frontier, Upton, was holding the runner on and could not get back to catch the pop-up. Yeah, and now the bases are loaded with only one, one out. One out. Bases are chucked. We're going to give her an infield hit on that one. Yeah, that, that was definitely a hit. And Maddie Lee Batane and the catcher is up with the bases loaded and one out for the Turner's False Thunder. And you'd have to think... Th Popped up, foul, out of play. And you'd have to think the uh, the right fielder, uh, Ashley Taylor, is playing um, a little far back. Very which, deep. Very yeah. deep. And, you know, if she was playing a little in or stepped her two, maybe she could have made that play. But that's one of the hardest spots is uh, in baseball and softball is that blooper. Anyways. Infield is a double play depth for... Frontier, ground ball to third. <coughs> we go home. Oh. oh. And she whipped it over the head of the catcher. So everybody is safe, and fr and the Whittier scores. It's one nothing Turners. I think on that play, you almost want to step on third. Yeah. Get that get that automatic out, so you at least get one out. But um, and now you're giving, like we said, you're giving Turners more, more chances. This is not good if you're Frontier in the first. So one nothing Turners, and the batter will be Taryn Thayer. Who is the DH essentially for the Thunder? So once again, we have uh, one gone, and it's just the first swing in the dirt, strike one. Oh 
Fouled off so quickly, 0-2. The Sulda at third, Road at second, and Lima Tainan's at first. Strike three, so three pitches, three strikes. It's a big out for Frontier. And that's what you like to see if you're front, Frontier, and um, especially with the bases loaded. The, the pressure, it can't be more on with, you know, if you hit a grand slam, it's four runs. <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> <You know. laughs> Holly Myers, the right fielder, steps in. She's a lefty. So now two gone. See so yeah. Ball outside, a one and zero. The count. Let's see if. Uh, Tell you if they can get out of this inning with just one run, that'd be a gift for Frontier. Yeah, that's that's huge. And you'd have to thank. Uh, strike on the outside corner. One ball, one strike. And you'd have to thank Olivia Dean's pitching to get out of this. You know, if she can get out with only one one run in the first for the this Turner's Falls powerhouse team. You know, it's, it's really good. The ball gets past CC. Uh, and in the score is Solda, so it is 2-0. Two. Two and everybody moves up. So now the four style is only at first. Right. <sighs> Two balls, one strike. On deck is waiting is uh, Emily Young, the center fielder yep. for Turners. Dean winds and deals. Ground ball up the middle. Uh. Base hit. One run win. The second run, actually the second runner will hold a third. It's no. three nothing Turners. And runners at second and third. Four runs or three? So it's three nothing. Three nothing. Wow. So, again, what we'll say is, you know, Frontiers, they're, they're, they're doing a good job of not throwing the ball around. That's one thing I will say. And let's see if Frontier can get this last out with only holding Turners to three runs. That one's in the dirt. Ball in the dirt. Another run will score. Another run. You're right. Another run will score. Lee Matanian comes in to score. So now it's 4 nothing Turners. So we, would, we had said yeah. it would be a gift to get out with one. And, and now they're, they're facing <laughs> four at this point. Yeah, and the, the batter was... <laughs> Better was at uh, first or home, whatever. Young in swing and a miss. And Holly Myers, the right fielder, is at third base. She's the only runner left <laughs> on the base pass for Turner's. So maybe they can get out without getting that run in. <laughs> that last one. Strike at the uh, numbers. So it's one and two to Young. If she gets on, Hannah Marhefka will be the hitter. A good uh, good pitcher's count here instead of hitters. <laughs> yeah. Ground ball foul. Just got a piece of it. And, and with this long first inning, you know, yeah, I think uh, Mr. Dean, when we, were, we talked the, earlier, she's Olivia's up to like 130-something pitches. Yeah. It's, and this adding on this, you know, that's a lot. That is a, phew, unheard of. Ground ball to the pitcher. Dean goes to first and retires yeah. the side. So Young is out one to three, and that ends a big inning for the Turner's Falls Thunder. We played a half inning. It's Turner's four. Frontier coming up. This is Red Hawk Softball and Frontier Community Access Television. So we go to the bottom of the first, and Frontier's got the hole to climb out of. They're trailing 4 nothing, and CC Green will be the leadoff hitter. It'll be Green, Macy Ring, and Lucia Dulette, the hitters for the Frontier Red Hawks. Again, coming off a 13-9 loss to Greenfield the other day. On and Wednesday. On, I would, uh, yeah, on, on uh, Wednesday. Yeah, that was, you know, that was definitely a tough loss for Frontier. But, but like I said before, it was this, uh, before this game started, and uh, on air, they had that one great inning. They scored seven runs. So, you know, if Frontier can get something going here right now in the first inning to maybe, you know, get back um, at that four not just chip away, yeah. chip away. One run at a time. That's um, Jade Tyler can really wing it, too. Two yeah. balls, though, both high. 
to CC. So if you're CC, you want to wait for your pitch here. You, it's got to be a strike. If you're in, you may want to watch one, but if it's close, you're swinging. Oh, swing and a miss. Two and one, the count. Still a good hitter's count, though. Fly Ooh. ball to left center field. Oh. And hauled in for the out. Wow. So Green gave it a good ride, but good defense by Turner's. As uh, making the play in the outfield was Emily Young, the center fielder. So one down for Macy Ring, the shortstop. One of the seniors on this team. Yeah, and she's a huge senior. You know, I think uh, when you when you look back, you know, you're losing your, your ace pitcher, <laughs> your shortstop, and your third baseman if you're frontier. Yep. And, you know, some other key players. They're also their, their second baseman, too. Um. Oof. Ring fouls the first pitch off. Strike one. And um, do you think uh, Turner's Falls, uh, Taylor's, or, or Tyler's, their, uh, their ace? Uh, Tyler is their best, by, by far their best pitcher. So they're pitching their best. They're Maybe. pitching their best. Yep. Oof. And that one was a little change-up that she threw. 0-2 quickly to ring. See, Tyler can do that. She's te she tends to, to be a fireballer, but she can throw a changeup yeah. and really cross you up. Yeah, you could see that uh, in Macy's swing that it was a changeup. Just the way, you know, she was a little on over it. That one's high and outside. One ball, two strikes to Macy Ring. The Duet sisters are waiting in the wings on deck. Tyler wings and Ooh. fires ground ball back to the pitcher. See if she can make the play. And she did. So she grinds out one to three. Two down for Lucia Dulette, the left fielder. See if Lucia can get something going. Strike at the letters. One and zero oh and one to count. Yeah, and Lucia, I'm pretty sure, is a uh, freshman um, in Charlotte, right behind her in the order is uh, a senior. So ball low, one ball, one strike. Ooh. Fouled off, one ball, two strikes to count. So Tyler's really thrown that speed. Yeah, she def that she's got great, great oh. command and great velocity, and a couple different pitches to play with. Too. And uh, do they uh, softball? Do they throw that knuckler? I, I haven't seen a, a knuckler from that. Oh. Swing and a miss, and that will do it. One, two, three inning for Turner's. We we'll go to the top of the second. Thunder four. Red Hawks, nothing. This is Red Hawks Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. Ground ball foul from our Hefka. That's 0-1 the count. So Olivia will pitch. Grounder. Ground ball to short. Ring Macy. from her knees to first. Oh. And she'll beat the throw. That was a good try. Yeah. Great effort. Can't ask for, you know, from your knees to make that play. Yeah. So Marhefka is aboard with a leadoff single. And the batter will be Olivia Whittier. She singled and scored one of the four runs for Turner's in that big first inning. Strike on the inside corner. 0-1 the count. Turn it 
Turner's Falls bench sounds like a home game almost. <laughs> that one's out of play. Foul out of play so quickly. 0-2 oh the count to Whittier. Taylor Murphy waiting on deck. So, 0-2 oh count. We'll see if what happens here. Just inside, just missed. One and two. Yeah, and you know that that proves that uh, the the batter has good eye there. You know, great eye. Low pickoff attempt, and she gets back in time. That evens the count: two balls, two strikes. Dean winds and deals. Ooh, fly ball. ball. Left center field. Pulled in by Dulette for the out. So one down as Whittier flies out to left. And the batter will be Taylor Murphy, who reached, actually was uh, cut down in a fielder's choice at first base her first time up. And now uh, now we got a lefty, which uh, number two is one of my old numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and it looks like 14 may may uh, may steal. I mean, I saw the coach give the give the hustle, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Ball outside. Want to know the count? Marhefka on first. Oh, high ball to right, and pulled in for the wow. out. So again, good defense out in the right field area for Frontier. And uh, one thing I'll notice, you know. That Greenfield game, there were a couple fly balls that were caught and they popped out of the glove. Yep. Um, and today, you know, except for that first inning, you know, it was a little rough. And Frontier's going to have to work hard to get those runs back against this very tough Turner's teams. And now up to bat, you have a uh, number 14, uh, Hannah March. Marhefka. Marhefka. Jade Tyler at the plate. Good play in the outfield by Murphy. So Murphy. Taylor flies out to Taylor. Yeah, like one of our producers, <laughs> Kevin Murphy. <laughs> yeah, right. He's out there. Well, he's definitely out there. <laughs> Tyler uh, walked her first time up and scored a run. She has one of the four runs scored for Turner's. She, of course, is the pitcher. Pitcher versus pitcher. Mono y mono. Ooh. Low in the dirt, good scoop by CeCe. Yeah, and one thing there, here you have a uh, much shorter backstop with softball. Correct. So it's harder to, much harder to steal, but th with the bases and from home to first and home to third, you, it's not as far. You don't have to run as far Correct. as in baseball. Ooh. And Just outside. And Olivia's definitely being careful to pitch in Tyler. Yeah, well, she, you know, she knows. <laughs> Every coach in the league <laughs> knows about number 12 from Turner's. Let's put it that way. And, yeah. And he knows what that. Tyler can change a game with one swing of a bat. Yeah, and that's a uh, ooh ground ball foul. Whoa. Tyler out ahead of it. Whew. Very nearly took out a fan down there. Yeah, caught the edge of the fence. Thank goodness. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have hit it, hit that kid over there. <laughs> um, yeah, Tyler's Tyler Branowski number, a great pitcher for Frontier. That's his number. TB twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Dean now. Oh! Cuts down Tyler with, and Cutter looking. Great pitch, and that retires the side. Whew. We go to the top, bottom of the second. Still Turner's four, Frontier nothing. This is Red Hawk softball and Frontier Community Exit. That was it. So we go to the bottom of the second inning. It's going to be Charlotte Dulette, Olivia Dean, and Delaney Fifield, the three batters for. Frontier, they went one, two, three in their first yeah. set of at bats. Yeah, so the third baseman, Charlotte, who's a senior, and then on deck you have Olivia Dean, who's a senior, and then you have uh, an eighth grader who's starting in center field for uh, for uh, Frontier's Delaney Fifield. So Charlotte Dulet, the cleanup hitter, steps in against Jade Tyler. Swing and a miss, strike one.
Fly ball. Wow. Out of play to the left. And that is and a long fly ball, and she's also lucky that um, number 13, the left fielder for Turners, didn't get that one. She was another step or two, yeah, and boom. Yeah, very nearly ran it down. Yeah. So 0-2 the count to Charlotte. That one's drive, base hit to right. So the first hit of the game belongs to Charlotte Dulette for Frontier. And she is on with a single to right. And that is awesome. A great way to start the top of the second inning for Frontier. Or top bottom of the second. My bad. Olivia Dean now will step in, the pitcher. Let's see if Frontier can get something going against the Thunder. High for a ball. One ball, no strikes. To Dean. So let's see if this. That one's high. Two balls, no strikes. And you got to think with pitcher, pitcher, as I like to call it, the mano y mano. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's tough when you're. You got a bat as a pitcher, and that's what you do with Little League and everything, you know. Ooh. And a soft line out to the first baseman who pulls it in. That's Whittier. And one down for Delaney Fifield. So one out. Um, and the eighth grade sensation for Frontier is up to bat. If she gets on, Ashley Taylor will be the hitter. Frontier needs to do something with this inning. You know, Charlotte Dulat started the inning off with a hit, good, good hit, and you know she almost oof. fouled off. 0 and one to Delaney. She's on it though. Come out swinging, as I put it. <laughs> so we'll see if uh, Tyler Fifield won this battle. Ooh. Ooh. Round ball to second. Uh oh. Quick uh, tag over to first. Double oh. play. Oh. Well done. So a four to three double play ends the inning. That was that was a great play there by their second baseman there to tag Charlotte Dulette. Who, you know, you can't really do anything about. Them. Of two, it is still Turner's four, Frontier nothing. This is Red Hawk Softball and Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals. Right next to the Common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrell Insurance. Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. Okay, we go on the top of the third. It's going to be Juliana Road, Madeline Matanen, and Taryn Thayer, the hitters for Turners, with a 4 0 lead against Olivia Dean. So, other than that first inning where there, she had a little bit of trouble, but again, defense has been pretty good so far, no errors. Yeah, and one thing you, I will notice is that that's a. Inside strike on one. I, I was gonna say <laughs> that was a long way, long time to call the strike. Um, but Frontiers players, their outfield is playing right next to the fence. <laughs> yeah, you know. they they know what's going on here. And Road is is a good power hitter. Yeah, and there's a there's a foul tip there, so two strikes on him now. Owen two to Juliana Road, who singled her first time up and scored one of Turner's four runs.
High for a ball. One ball, two strikes. Trying to get him to chase that outside stuff, but yeah. um, I don't think it's working so far. High right. ball to left center field and pulled away by Dulette. So fly ball out for a road. One up, one down, and the batter will be Maddie Lee Matanen. Who reached on a fielder's choice and scored a run her first time up. High for a ball, one ball and no strikes. So, I, I, like you said, um, towards the beginning of the game, Pop up. That's going to go out of play. Fan section. Almost, though. As <laughs> it looked like Dulet was going to run that down. But yeah, you had the right fielder, the shortstop, and third base all, all going over there to get to that. Because, you know, they're not, they're, other than that first inning, um, Frontier's been locked down on that defense. Yep. And that's huge. That's huge. Well, we said, you know, they. I think probably they learned a lesson against Greenfield. Yeah. And, uh, Nine years. <laughs> Ooh. Swing and a miss. So two strikes now on Lee Matane, the catcher. That's a that's a huge, huge strike there. So um, see what I don't know if Olivia has a changeup or curveball or. Olivia took a little bit off that one. Yeah. Ooh, line drive put down by Macy Ring. So Ring on the spot and two down and. Taryn Thayer is going to be the batter. Thayer struck out her first time up. So Frontier in this next inning, they really got to get the, the bottom of the third. They got to get the bats going. Yep. They got to get it rolling, you know, especially with a good defense. You know, you got the good defense going for you right now. So If Thayer gets on, it will be Holly Myers, the hitter for Turners. It's high for a ball. One ball, no strikes. Dean winds and deals. Just, in, just inside, just missed. 2-0 the count. And what's good about the Turner's Fall teams that I've noticed is they, they wait for the the zone, yep. the stuff that's in the zone. They're, they're very, very disciplined team. That, that one was a strike. Two, ball ones, two balls, one strike. It's funny as it works sometimes. We, we like, jinx them, <laughs> and then it happens. <laughs> We talk about it, and then it happens. <laughs> <laughs> Ground ball to third. Dulette scoops it up over to first at a 1-2-3 inning for the Frontier Red Hawks. So the defense came to play today. Oh, yeah. And at the end of two and a half, still Turner's four, Frontier nothing. This is Red Hawk softball on Frontier Community Access Television. Is that a now right, we go to the uh, bottom of the third inning. It's going to be Ashley Taylor, Jillian Appinell, and Savannah Upton. The hitters for the Red Hawks trailing 4 nothing against Jade Tyler and the Thunder. Been a good defensive struggle so far for both teams. And, and Frontier, um, great on defense, and same with Turner's Falls. You know, both, you know, that double play that ended in the last inning, whereas Frontier looked like they could have had something going. So, uh... Low for a ball. Two balls, no strikes to Ashley Taylor. Ooh, fouled off. Got Cisa, uh, got Lima Tannen on the mask. Yeah, and, and I actually found out, uh, it was either last night or yesterday, that Taylor's actually an eighth grader too. Really? Yeah. So two eighth graders starting on varsity is huge for front. In the outfield. Yeah. Yeah, center field and right field. And then a freshman in left. So Frontier, you know, they have that young, young, young blood team. Two balls, two strikes to the eighth grader Ashley Taylor.
Ooh, check swing fly ball center field, but pulled in for the outs. So a lot of long fly balls, yep. you know, so far. Other than uh, Charlotte Dulat's hit for only hit for Frontier so far on the night. Good put out there by Emily Young. So one down, and the batter will be Jillian Appenell, the first base person for the Hawks. Again, Frontier with one hit. Dulat got that to lead off the last inning. But the that's been it so far offensively. Yeah, and that double play stopped Frontiers. What could have been brewing for that inning? Ended their hopes. High for a ball. One ball, no strikes. <laughs> Ooh. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. And got her on the low, low strike. Definitely in the in the dust on that one. Almost was the golf swing. <laughs> yeah, right. Ooh. High for a ball. Two and one the count. So she'll chase the low one on that first pitch and leave the high cheese up. <laughs> or leave that one up for the birds, as we said. Yeah. <laughs> Frontier making some noise over there. Ooh. Fouled off. So two strikes now to Jillian Appenell. Savannah Upton waiting on deck, and if she gets on, CC Green, top of the order, will bat. Inside for a ball. Now, one thing that we both noticed was a different home plate ump than on Wednesday and Monday, yeah, and true. it's it's huge. Umping and and refing is huge in any sport. It really is. Grounded to third. Yep, pulled up and over to first. So Appenel's down five to three. Two up, two down, and the batter will be Savannah Upton. Yeah. So what we'll notice: first inning, one, two, three. Second inning, one, two, three with that double play that ended that inning and Charlotte who got that inning going. And then this inning, one, two. So uh, two outs and another senior for Frontier, Savannah Upton, who's uh, a lefty. Upton with the white helmet stepping in against Jade Tyler. Yep. Strike on the outside corner. Oh, no balls, one strike. Yeah, we noticed a uh, huge Frontier fan section, and behind us is the uh, Turner's Falls section. So, Everybody loves the winner. They got a lot of fans. Yeah, <laughs> on both teams. Yeah. Of course, this is the last regular season game for both teams, and the tournament seedings are, are awaiting. Oh, yeah, probably this game and then next week that they... And they that's actually Frontier has one more game at Athol that, that was rescheduled. Yeah. And I think it's honestly better for Frontier that they, you know, playing three good teams um, this week and then, you know, having to play four games in five days. Is yeah. it, it doesn't get harder than that unless you have to play five games in five days. <laughs> it's true. Or like a double header. <laughs> Anyways, the reverse nine. Strike, strike on the outside corner, and that will do it. There oh. she goes down on strikes looking. One, two, three inning again. Four turners. And at the end of three, turners four, Frontier nothing. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. So we go to the top of the fourth inning. It'll be Holly Myers, Emily Young, and Hannah Marhefka, the hitters for turners as they are hanging on to that 4 nothing lead. And with the play-by-play -play of uh, this fourth inning, we go to our good friend Tom. Yeah, and uh, up to bat we have, for Turner's Falls, number uh, 15, Holly Myers, who's the right fielder today. She's a lefty, so we got to watch out over here. <laughs> yeah, she uh, Holly uh, signaled her first time up. Had an RBI and got as far as third base. Let's see if Olivia. That one's low on the, probably low and away. So, counts one and zero. Whoa, 
That one's a line over the fence, and that one is gone. So she'll round the bases as Holly Myers with a solo home run. Um, as soon as it left the bat, it was over the fence. So if you're frontier, that is tough. But Turner's Falls now takes a 5-0 lead. Yeah, that one was poked pretty good to right center field, and it was a no doubt. The question only was, was it going to clip the top of the fence? Or but uh, it went over, and yeah. that's a big home run. Five zip now for Turner's. Yeah. And now up to bat, you have uh, number seven, <coughs> Emily Young, who is the uh, center fielder for your Turner's Falls. She lined out to first her first time up. And like we said before, this is a big game if you're Frontier or Turner's Falls. You know, you you, you may see this matchup in the uh, in the playoffs depending on how how far either team goes. Oh, and that's a grounded to third base over to first, and they'll make the play. So go uh, third to first, and um, you have one gone with. Hannah Mar Hefka is the next hitter, and she has this. Uh, win she's one for one with a single, her first time up. Yeah, and looking back at like uh, this is the top of the or yeah top of the fourth. Cor correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. Um, you know, you take away that first inning, and it's a pretty close game. It would just be a one nothing game, right. or you know one or two. Anyways, uh, the batter is number fourteen, Hannah, and. The count is one and one. So Olivia Dean, a senior for Frontier, that you could say the ace, um, as it is pitching wise, um, versus Turner's Falls ace, ace for ace, ace for ace. It's grounder again to third, over to first, could overthrow, him, but nope. And so they'll make the play. Two gone now. Good job by Appenell to snag that ball. That was headed over her head, but she yeah. didn't jump and get down and tag the bag in time. Yeah, it was, it was gonna hit Josh over here. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Josh, poor Josh. <laughs> Josh has got camera angle issues. He's got balls coming at him. <laughs> and the batter's Olivia Whittier, the first baseman, who flat out to s to left her first to last time up, single and has scored a run in this game. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and she'll let, she's the, she is the Turner Falls leadoff uh, woman. That is a strike. Good pitch. That is a great spotting if you're uh, if you're Frontiers coach. Or front, sorry, Frontier. So Olivia versus Olivia. Fly ball in the infield. Savannah Upton will make the catch. So uh, and that will end the inning. And um, Frontier, or well, Turner Falls. Adding on to their lead, it is now 5 nothing, and see if Frontier can get the bats going. We'll go to the top of the order when we come back. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. Then we come back at the top, bottom of the fourth inning. It's going to be CC Green, Macy Ring, and Lucia Doulette, the hitters for Frontier. Still trailing 5 nothing, And they've only, only gotten one hit in this game. Green will try and change that. She flied out to center field her first time up. Yeah, so Frontier's definitely got to get the bats going. Top of the fourth, top of the fourth, and Tyler, or, um, yeah, Jade Tyler, who is Turner's ace. That one's uh, fouled, hits the track shed. <laughs> fouled off, nothing in one to CC. Yeah, and one thing I will notice as I've, I was been talking to you about it is they're coming out swinging yeah. first pitch you know if it's good anything good you got to take advantage of it Ooh, and that that's a strike so uh now the count is 0-2 to cc she's got to protect the plate now and we'll see if tyler gives that nasty change up Ooh, way to lay off that one yeah, that was tempting. It was right, <laughs> right at her eyes. Yeah, that's that's the one thing you know. You see a lot of people. It's that's why we swing at the high cheese. Right. It's because it, it's it's at your eye level and you're you're swinging. So, good job to hold by CC. Swing, 
Right field makes the catch. So ultimately, a great swing by CeCe and um, oh, Frontier has really been a, doing a good job of hitting hitting the ball, but and making contact. But Turner's Falls defense is outstanding. Holly Myers ran that one down. She of course had the home run in the last half inning to pad that lead to five nothing. So we'll see if um, the shortstop for Frontier, Macy Ring, who is another senior on this uh, senior night. See if she can get something going with one down. Ring grounded out to the pitcher her first time up. Yeah, so senior versus senior. Ooh, that one off. Could it be over the fence? Nope. Wow. Wow. Gave it a good ride, but yeah. <laughs> just not quite enough. And like I said again, first pitch, they're coming out swinging. They got to do something to get it going. And Charlotte Dulette, who has the only hit, and now her sister's up to bat, uh, is Lucia Dulette, who is in uh, left field. Lucia struck out her first time up. If she gets on, Charlotte will be the hitter. <coughs> High for a ball. So we'll see if Lucia can get something going. And... Um, on deck, you, in the four hole, you have uh, Charlotte, her sister. Ooh, it's kind of a check swing. Is it fair? It stays fair. So is she gonna take off the second? She will. And she's safe. So a huge double there by freshman Lucia Dillette. Yeah, she was, there was no question. She was not gonna stop at first. Yeah, she and, just. Uh, that was a gutsy call. Yeah, and she just kept going. I don't know if her, her coach, you know, waved her around or, or not. But now you have the batter, who has the other only hit on the night, her sister, Charlotte Dillette. And the first runner in scoring position for Frontier against Jade Tyler. Inside for a ball, 1-0 the count. And the one thing that's good about, uh, you know, Lucia taking off the second on that is you now, you don't have a force out at second. That's a little low. Low and inside. 2-0 the count. So now Charlotte's going to wait for hers as she's a huge powerhouse hitter for Frontier. And don't count Frontier out yet. It is 5-0, but they could have something brewing with two now. Ooh, good eye. Ooh, eye for a ball. And Tyler may be pitching away from Charlotte as she's the four hitter, and you know yep. she knows that she can hit a home run. Possible. She gets a hold of it. And on deck, you have a... The pitcher for Frontier, Olivia Dean, another senior. Oh, and that one's off the bat. That could be over the fence. Gone. And that one is gone. So a huge home run by the senior, Charlotte Dulette on senior night. And Frontier is on the board as they now trail 5-2. to two. Wow. And just like we were saying, as she could, she could get a hold of it. It's going over the fence, and that is that is huge. That was a no doubter. That was clear that that was on the way out. As soon as it left the bat, it was gone. So now you have the uh, you have the batter, another senior for Frontier, who is on the mound, uh, Olivia Dean. So five two the score is the Frontier Redhawks, showing some signs of offensive life here. Yeah. And uh, one thing, this is the only inning that they have not gone one two three. Yep. Little two out rally going here, and Olivia steps in. She grounded out to Tyler her Ooh. first time up. No doubt about that one with the strike. Actually, she lined out, excuse me, to the first baseman her first time up. Ooh, did she go? Check swing. I think she went. I guess it may have. I think it was a strike either way. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. And now we have a train going by, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it is for the 4 o'clock. That, that will after mm -hmm. 4. Right? 5 o'clock almost. Oh! Oh, what a catch over there. Yeah. And that will end the inning. But the score is now 5-2 as uh, Frontier's on the board with Charlotte Dillette's home run. And that won the inning. And yeah, We'll go to the 5th. Frontier Trails Turners by a count of 5 to 2. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. 
So we go to the top of the fifth inning. It'll be Taylor Murphy, Jade Tyler, and Juliana Road. The hitters for the Turner's Falls Thunder as the Hawks are on the board, 5-2. And uh, see if the defense can hold Turner's here and maybe give Frontier a chance to get some more runs on the board. Yeah, and once again, um, as we talked about a little bit off air, is that uh, Frontier's really cleaned up their, their defense against uh, from, from that Greenfield loss. Yeah, very, very good performance so far. And, and, and uh, yeah, so you now you have the lefty up, Olivia versus uh, Taylor. So, uh, uh, you have a counts one and zero. Now one's outside in the dirt. So the count is. 2-0, and you wonder if that fatigue is catching up with Olivia. But maybe she'll get stronger as she goes on like she has. That one's 3-0. Oh, wow. So that must have been a little outside or a little inside, but it's that one's definitely a little high. So 3-0. you got to think uh, you're not swinging here if you're Taylor. That one's a strike. So Murphy kind of walks out of the batter's box, wondering about that. That didn't yeah. I don't think she liked that call. Consistency, that's what you know. You want to see. Who comes up swinging over to first base, and she'll step on first for the out. So if you're frontier, that is great. By a great play there by uh, Julian Ampano. Three so. unassisted on that one, and the batter will be Jade Tyler, who uncharacteristically struck out looking her last time up. And she's walked and scored a run in this game. So you now you have uh, Tyler up. And Olivia's going to pitch. be very careful about pitching to her. And that, one's, oh. that one is gone. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, that was a bomb. <laughs> Off the bat. First pitch swing. Whew. Oh, baby. No doubt about that one. Yeah. I, I could tell. As soon as boom. You hear that sound? That one is... Phew. Yikes. That was almost the baseball field. <laughs> oh. Jeez. Well, I told you that she's got great power when she gets a hold of it. And that one was just... And and right before um, I said that, you got to be careful pitching her. Yeah. You really, you know, you know, you could almost just intentionally walk her if you well, want My guess to. is that Jay didn't like strike it out that last time up. And oh, yeah. That was... <laughs> that was a, re a reminder of exactly how dangerous she can be. So yeah. Frontier trails now 6-2, so the re lead is back up to 4 for the Thunder. And now the batter is Juliana Road, the third baseman. F hit to shortstop. Macy Ring will fire it over to first, and now will get, out, get the out. Good play again by Ring at short. Yeah, and she's been phenomenal over there. I wonder, um, you know... I wonder what they're going to do next year. Move some players around without that shortstop and third baseman and pitcher. Because that's, that's the whole left side of the field, or diamond. And that one's a long fly ball. To left field, but pulled in. But the out retires the side, but Turners gets one more with the Jade Tyler bomb. <laughs> and at the end of five, four and a half, it is Turner six, Frontier two. This is Red Hawk Softball and Frontier Community Access Television. Hi, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm your host, Tom Alba, joined with Chris Collins and the whole FCAL crew. You have a good game so far, as it is 6-2 to two in the uh, bottom of the fifth inning, which in that Greenfield game the other night that me and Chris were there, um, that was their big inning. And they need to get something going, as Turner's has been kind of lights out other than the two hits from Charlotte has a hit and a home run, and Lucia has the her sister has the only other hit for Frontier. So that's great. That means great pitching by uh, Jay Tyler. Delaney Fifield in for swings Frontier. Looks like it will be an out though. <laughs> First pitch swinging one to three, and one down. The batter will be Ashley Taylor. Yeah. So one thing I will notice is two eighth graders around for. Uh, And 
And uh, so the batter is Ashley Taylor, and Jade Tyler will take take her place on the mound. Wines, bunt, but sh she didn't pull it back in time, and I think she was going for a uh, delayed bunt, but uh, they may have known what's coming. Taylor flat out to center her first time up. Good eye there. So, uh, counts even, one and one. Huge swing, but it's a fly ball. Looks like it could drop. Nope. Good catch there by the center fielder, uh, number seven, Emily Young. So uh, now with two outs, you know, you have another big bat for front Frontier, uh, Jillian Appenel. And she's either a sophomore or freshman. Appenel so grounded out to third her first time up. So Frontier in danger of going one, two, three again. Yep. And that's one thing we'll look back at this game and say, you know, a lot of one, two, three innings, and you take away that first inning, maybe this game's tied 2-2. Two, two by the, um, but that's all theor theoretic theoretically. Yep. <laughs> Theoretical. You're right. Big words. <laughs> that is a ball outside. Good eye there by uh, Apno. She had her older brother who graduated, I think, a year or two. Dylan. Dylan, who yep. he was a good pitcher and a good hitter, too. That one's Bounces before the plate, and so the count will be one and two, or two. Sorry, two and two and two and one or two and zero. Oh. It looks as though Michaela Santos may be on deck. Yeah, she'll she'll be taking over for Santa, Savannah Upton. Good hold there by Jillian Appenell. You know. So now the count is either three zero, three one. Jillian's either going to swing on this next pitch or let let it go. No. Let Jay do the work. And that is a ball. Ball four. Big walk here with two gone. So uh, they don't go one, two, three here. The first walk of the game issued by Turner's. And it will be Michaela Santos. Yep, and she's had some, um, you know, in the past games that we've commentated, she's come in and had some hits, timely hits. So she'll take over for Upton. So the count is 1-0, and or 0-1, oh sorry, <laughs> as that last one was a strike. Jill and Appenau first. Two gone, and Mikael Santos is the batter. Another strike, good pitch, and thrown over Ooh. to first. Quick pickoff attempt, no hidden ball trick. <laughs> <laughs> with the bright, bright green ball, that you know, I don't think you can do with it with the white, you know, with the white, white baseball. Can't do it unless there's a bunch of dirt on the ball. Anyhow, <laughs> it's come up swinging. Could be well. The second baseman makes a good catch, and that will end the inning. So uh, Frontier, or Turner's Falls still leading after five, six to two. Red Hawk softball and Frontier Community Access Television. So we go to the top of the sixth inning. It's going to be Taryn Thayer, Holly Myers, and Emily Young, the hitters for Turner's Falls, as they hang on to a six to two lead. Still in the circle is... Olivia Dean, and then at second base, Michaela Santos, who uh, came into the game as a pinch hitter in the last play. Yep, and uh, swing. And as you mentioned off airs, there's been a lot of a lot of hit first pitch swings. Which yeah, I can't recall ever seeing this many first pitch swings in any game this season. Yeah, for baseball or softball. Right. It looks a little it may want a new ball. Maybe there's dent in it from the fence or swing. <laughs> from the from probably from Tyler's home run. Yeah. <laughs> Something got unplugged. Go 
We'll see if Olivia can get something going. Or, uh, sorry, excuse me, the, uh, the batter. That one's in the dirt, though. And the batter is, uh, Tareen Thayer. Thayer Thayer, yeah. Tareen Thayer, scary Thayer. <laughs> Makes me think of uh, the basketball player, t Scary Terry. <laughs> you know, the two T's. Yeah. Inside and low. So I wonder if that fatigue, you know, Scott, she might be close up to 175, 200 pitches in, three, in, in five days. Yeah, it's a lot. You're asking a lot from your senior, your ace. And that one, ooh, I guess it was either a little inside or a little outside. The count is two and one. Just missed. Yeah, really, I, I, I over here, but we're at an angle, so. <laughs> Comes up swinging right over to left field, and that one is caught in by uh, Lucia Dillette. So there is... Two gone? One gone. One gone. <laughs> and the batter will be Holly Myers, who last time up hit a screaming home run. Oh, man. To put plate the sixth run for Turner's. Yeah, so one thing you'll notice about this Turner's Hall team is I guess they have home run hitters throughout the order. Um, so you've got to be careful pitching to anyone in this order. Sometimes it's also, you know, it's not the, you know, may not be the biggest kid on the field. Right. Could be a scrawny kid, and they, they can poke it out. Now when that one's a little low in a way, or just low. So I really wonder if that uh, the fatigue may be setting it. Blooper. In. It's going to be stay fair, and she will get a hit. So she is two for three. Wow. And the batter will be Emily Young. 0 for two. Ground out to the pitcher and the third baseman. Yeah, now Turner's Falls could have something going in here with one gone. Ooh. That one's a little, little outside. Also, one thing people don't think about is uh, height. You know, and when you have when you squat down and have that stance, it takes away the the strike huge strike zone. And that one's the shortstop. They could have a double play here. They'll get one though. So they get the lead runner. There's two gone now. Um, and that's a great heads up play by the shortstop, Macy Ring. Over to Michaela Santos. Hannah Marhefka is the batter. She's one for two in this game. Grounded up the third last time, and she singled her first time up. She is the uh, shortstop. Yeah. So bought kind of the bottom of the order. Um, man on first. Swing. Again to the shortstop. They'll go over to first, though. and Oh, and they'll get the out. So no damage, and it is still six to two. Turner's leading by four. You're watching Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. Tom. So we go to the uh, bottom of the sixth inning. It's going to be CC Green, Macy Ring, and Lucia Doulette, the hitters, top of the order for Frontier. Still in a hole, trailing 6-2, to two, but they played great defense today. That's been a, a real... Real shining spot for them. Yeah, they got to get some offense going. Though. Yeah, they really, they really know. You know, only having two hits and then a home run. You know, by the Duelette sisters. So you really got to look at this game. If that home run didn't happen with uh, Blue Shit getting that hit or double, you know, and the batter CC Green, and she will, you know, she's uh, flat out to right. And she also flew out in the first two. So, she's due for a hit. We'll see if she can get something going. Big swing. Go to second base. I almost said shortstop. So, uh, Turner's has one down as Frontier's down to their final five lives. 
Macy Ring will be the hitter. She flew fly out to center field her last time up and run it out to the pitcher. Yeah, and that, that center field, that was on, almost near the fence. You know, another... Uh, good deep one, yeah. yeah. Good, deep, good deep fly ball. Five more feet, and that's over the fence. That's all it takes. So, senior versus senior. She comes out swinging, and that is fouled off. It goes into the trees. The retrievable trees. <laughs> <laughs> so the count is uh, counts as, counts, zero and one. Taylor winds. And that one will uh, be in the dirt. So. Frontier's bench making a lot of noise. Oh, maybe that was a, you know, she had she put some spin on that. Yeah, do the thing like it. Maybe that's like you know the way they, you know, in baseball how they you know curveball, knuckle, all that stuff, all that jazz. <laughs> you know, maybe when you because it's underhand. I don't know. <laughs> I never played softball. <laughs> so. Macy Ring, a being big senior. This is a big at bat here with only one gone. She calls time. Smart play. Now she's going to be ready. Locked and loaded. So ball outside. Great eye, great eye there by uh, Macy. So the count is. Two and one. Comes out swinging. Over to third. They make it play. It's nope. overthrown over our way. Hits, hits our cameraman, and she'll take off the second. <laughs> hits the $3,000 camera. <laughs> well, that's interesting. And E5, a rare error. Yeah, and that's big. Because now she takes off. the. She's at second. Man in scoring possession. And you have the Doulette sisters who have the other hits on the night. So... You know, see, if, if Lucia can get a hold of one here, just put it in fair territory anywhere, Macy will move over to third, and then Charlotte, who has the home run on the night. And this is big. This is, this is this is what you need if you're Frontier. Bottom of the sixth inning, just chip away at that lead if you want to stay in this game. And I don't know the last time Taylor played, but she could have some fatigue going on. Doesn't seem like it though. No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. <laughs> She's been one, two, three, one, two, three, except for a couple innings, a couple hits. So the count is one and zero. Oh. This is a huge at bat if you're Frontier. Oof, big cut. That'll even the count one and one. So Frontier, the freshman versus senior, needs to get going. Ooh. Oh. She goes down swinging. Big strikeout there. So now with two outs, and she has also that home run in the last inning, and they had fun with two. So another senior for Frontier and a powerhouse hitter is uh, Charlotte Dillette. See so you wins this battle. That is a strike. No doubt about that one. Taylor's, or not Taylor, Tyler's looking uh, very strong. So. That one's low and inside. Tyler will wind. Huge hit, but this one looks like it may stay in stay in the play. Or stay in play. And good out. good catch by uh their center fielder, Emily Young. So Frontier will be down to their last three outs as we are going to the top of the seventh. We go to the seventh, top of the order for Turner's coming up. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television.
Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by Attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals. Right next to the Common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrell Insurance, Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. All right, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm your host, Tom Albert, joined with Chris Collins, Megan Self, our uh, producer, Alec Eckel, Josh Levine, and uh, Benaya. So uh, we are down to the top of the seventh. You know, uh, we ought to, this has been a really good game. It has. And it's been completely different from that Greenfield game on Wednesday. Um, I d- as I said earlier, I don't know when the last time Turner's Falls has played, but I bet it's it's been pretty recent, you know. And Olivia has been pitching a phenomenal for coming off of Monday night and uh, their Monday night win. And that one's, whoa, over the left field. She's going to take off to two. And so that is a great way to start the inning. I do, I'm pretty sure that is the uh, first pitch. Yep. And a leadoff double for Whittier. She's two for four today. Wow. And uh, and that one, you just you, you can't do anything about that one. It was right. hit over your head. You know, you have to, and maybe her first step may have been in, but always, you got to, when you're in the outfield, first step is always back. That's a good strike. So, with the man in scoring in position, no outs, the batter is number two, uh, Taylor Murphy. Taylor Murphy. That one is low and away. We had a helicopter going over. Maybe they're looking for someone. <laughs> they're looking for you, Chris. Yeah. Or Mr. Or uh, Kevin Murphy. <laughs> On deck, of course, is Jade Tyler. Ooh, who had that home after run. After that home run last time up. That one, that's a hit. So uh, she'll take off. They may score. She'll take off the... Oh, oh. No one's covering first, though. So, a good RBI single. Um, and she almost got caught. She was going to take off the second. Um, but she was, you know, closer to the first base bag. And the first baseman wasn't covering. Anyhow. So, uh, front er, Turner's Falls adding on to their lead. Now it's 7-2. to two, And the batter will be, who has the home run on the game, Jade Tyler. And who's also on the mound. Yeah, that was a no doubter her last time up. She pounded it. Yeah, and to and she, left. And she uh t- the before that she sh- she struck out looking and then she was, you know, she came up with the, that first pitch home run. And that <laughs> right as soon as it was off the bat, we were like, "Ah, oh, that one is bye bye. Yeah, see you later." <laughs> so now a man on first. Again, uh, no outs. No sto- no steals. I don't think there's been a single st- nope. stolen base. There hasn't been. So there haven't been that many base runners. Yeah, really. So great pitching performance by uh, Olivia and the other team. And by John, that one's up in the air, but I think that one may... Go on. Over, over the fence. Uh, so that, that adds on to their lead as uh, Turner's Falls adding on... Just more insurance runs as it is now nine to two. Well, that one kind of hung up there. We weren't sure if, if Fifield would be able to make a play on it, and she she was at the fence, and it just wasn't going to happen. And as a uh, hockey captain over there, Aiden Roaches, <laughs> and the baseball manager, he's gonna he's gonna throw it in. And now here comes the coach. And I think that might be it for Olivia. <laughs> Top of the seventh. 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 Turner's Falls leading nine to two. So that's Tyler's second home run and as many at bats. She's hit two home runs. She scored three runs today. 
and has only has struck out once and has walked once. So two for four, two big bombs. And I'm looking up and down this uh, Turner's Falls team, and I think almost everyone on, on the team has a, at least one or two hits on the night, yeah. and that's huge. And you well, also it's a, it's a good, very good offensive team. Yeah, and you, kudos to Frontier's defense for playing extremely well. And, you know, just this inning and that first inning, which was a little rough, it's been pretty good pitching performance by Olivia Dean and uh, great defense. So Juliana Road is up, and she takes ball one in the dirt. Well, that escalated pretty quickly. Now it's nine to two. Yeah, and that was a basic clearing um, home run. <laughs> now and also is in the dirt, or you know, low on a low and inside. So three homers on the game for Turner's. Two from Tyler, one from Holly Myers. And now, so again, like I said earlier, no outs. You know, a whole new, it's almost like a brand new inning. <laughs> so road walks and a base on balls. And Still I Still nobody out. I don't know. Since um, Michaela Santos came in for Savannah, if Savannah is good to pitch or not, I, I just don't know the rule of that. So, who? I think the next person in line. Uh, fly ball. It will stay. It will go out of play, but can't make the play there. Well, Appenel had a beat on it, just could not squeeze the glove and keep it in. And I think it's also that backspin also that may yeah. come into effect. And also, it's a very difficult play to make that one, you know, if you're catcher or first or third baseman, yeah, and even the pitcher sometimes. That one's... Lena Tainan goes deep, but Dulet got it. So, great long fly ball. They'll keep uh, Julian Road at first, and now there's one out. And Taryn Thayer will be the hitter. She flied out to left her last time up. There we go. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. We're back on. We had a little technical difficulty there. Ground ball foul by Emily Young. I'm sorry. Uh, not Emily Young. This is actually a pinch hitter. This is uh, Paige Shulda hitting for Holly Myers. Or for Ooh. It was a dead ball because it, I think it swung and then it hit her. Ah. <sighs> I wonder if the Red Sox play tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the Bruins, uh, we don't even go there. <laughs> we look forward to the... Uh, we're totally not a uh, New England fan over here. <laughs> Swing and a miss. So that's strike three, and Silver that will be... Down. Two down, and the batter will be uh, number 15, Holly Myers, who she has a home run on the night. She does. So she, yeah, wow. And she's towards the end of the order, um, batting sixth. So having your 
three and six, you know, three batters in between, you hope those batters can get on and then have those two powerhouse hitters. Right. So, that was a good strike in there for the uh, lefty. It's on the outside corner. And one thing that's interesting with lefties and righties, I only ever played with um, my friend Kyle Barnes, who let off. You know Kyle. Yep. Um, he was our leadoff man, and he was our only lefty I ever had, other than Aiden Fowler, um, <laughs> <laughs> which I, he, uh, he was a good track runner. But he... Um, he didn't go to Frontier. He was a uh, someone who went to. Uh, well, it's gonna kill me. It'll come to me later. <coughs> Anyways, back to softball. Fly out of play in the fan section, student <laughs> section. <laughs> someone tried to make the play over there. <laughs> Definitely a dent. <laughs> oh yeah, on that one. And actually, it's it's kind of funny. Right behind. Uh, Right behind the softball dugouts is there. They're ripping up the. They, they, I saw them today ripping up the. Uh, the my, track, right? Yeah. yeah. And the the long jump and triple jump, <laughs> and that that is a that is my my spot, <laughs> <laughs> if I will say. It. But we have that other one over there that we don't really use. But oh, that one's gonna nice catch by Taylor, and that will end the inning. So great defense, you know. Um, well, Turner falls out and onto their lead. It is 9 to 2, and we will go to the Frontiers final inning. Final two. This is Red Ox Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. Olivia Dean, Delaney Fifield, and Ashley Taylor are the hitters in the bottom of the seventh for Frontier, trailing Turner's Falls 9 to 2. Yeah, and, and one thing to notice about that is you have a senior on senior night and then two eighth graders. Yeah. <laughs> So this is Olivia's last home at bat in a regular season game, probably. Unless Frontier can somehow score seven in, seven runs, and they did it. <laughs> they did it in the fifth inning against Greenfield, but I don't know. Um, I don't think they can get get unless they get something rolling right now. As Tyler uh, has really not let off. That's correct. She's been phenomenal all night. Now it's another strike. That one's a little outside. So the count is one and two, two and one. I believe it's one and two. I think. One and two. So good pitchers count. That one's high. Tried to get Olivia to chase, and she did not. So, the count is now 2-2. Two -two. We'll see if Olivia can get something going here. Oh! Oh! Lined out. Right at the second baseman. Yeah, and she's, she's had some nice plays um, on the night. So, now up to bat, you have... Oh! We got a pinch hitter. Yeah, pinch like. hitter. Number 23. Hitting for Fifield Molly is Gates. Molly Gates. Strike low. I wonder um, if Molly's on the JV Frontier team, you know. As they're trying to, you know, the last couple of games of the season, you want to bring up some of those players in case there's an injury, yeah, and you, you want to be ready to go in case someone's not on their A game. High and outside. Ooh, and that is a great eye there. So the count is even, one and one. Ooh. Trying to slash at that one. Yeah, she was way behind on that one. That was that was a straight fastball by Tyler. And if she didn't swing it, well, it would have been a strike either yeah, way. It, it would have. So the count is now. Uh, she's a little behind. Is it a good pitcher's count? 
one and two. See if Gates can time have a timely hit here. And again, strike three. So strike three as uh, Jade Tyler really has had an outstanding pitching performance on the night. You know, a lot of one, two, three innings, and I think she's only let up three hits on the night. Yeah. Three or four. And Taylor will be the hitter with two gone. She's an eighth grader, so you uh, you have to think what's going to come here. She comes out swinging. It's a short grounder over to third, and they make the play. So uh, that will end the game on senior night for uh, Frontier versus Turners as Turners will get the win 9-2. to two. And honestly, Chris, a great game. Both sides. I think if Frontier could have had one another good inning, we could yeah. have had a close Frontier game. Didn't, didn't play badly. Defensively, no. they were outstanding compared yeah. to the other day. Oh, man. Nine but errors. Just, you're going up against a very, very good defensive team with one of the best pitchers in the entire region. Yeah. And uh, it comes out for a W for the Turner's Falls Thunder. So they, uh, they're they going to stay undefeated. And yep. Frontier will move to five and six. I wonder if that's going to affect the standings at all for the playoffs. But um, I think they have one more game that's away at Athol? Athol, next week. So, and then we'll let you know as we move forward what our playoff schedule and plans will be. But that'll do it for our coverage of Frontier Regional School softball for our broadcast partner, Tom Alber. I'm Chris Collins, along with the FCAT crew and the executive producer of Frontier Community Access Television's Kevin Murphy. Final score, Turner's Falls 9, Frontier 2. Thanks for watching. So long from South Beach.